Hello everyone and welcome to Z Interactive. This is Ishansha and today in our Marvelous Designer course we will learn how we can put material on our Squid Games track suit. So we will work one by one. So first I will hide this and like the I will hide the jacket and I will hide the t-shirt and we'll work we'll start working with this. Now before working on let's uh for uh for the safe side i will delete unused so if there is anything that is not used i will delete that now before going further i will add a fabric and i will call this one uh i will rename this to trousers and jacket Now, after that, I will just click on the material that I have created and I will go to the properties here. And the one property that uh, I would really like to change is the physical property. Okay. And I will choose here knit jersey cotton because track suits are usually uh, made out of uh, jersey and they are knit. So knit jersey cotton, I will choose here. Select all of it, okay, and I will apply this material on it, okay, and it is applied there. Now, I will make a copy of this, uh, sorry, uh, not now. What I will do here is that I will choose all the materials here. First of all, texture. So I will add a texture, by the way, that uh, all these uh, materials files are uh, like uploaded and you can find the link to download that in the description below so i will click on these four dots here in the basic parameters textures because i wanted to choose a texture here okay and there is my folder here is it now in this folder i have here uh this fabric which is a seamless uh, fabric i will select this and you can see that very nice looking fabric is applied there now what i need here is the normal map so i will click back here again see here's the normal map i'll click on it okay so you can see the normal map is applied as well and displacement i will click and here is the displacement i will apply the displacement as well as soon you will apply it the displacement will give you more option here uh maybe amount is zero so i will Keep it five for now. Normal map intensity, I think maybe 25. Okay, it's fine. Now, what I will do is, first of all, I will change the color of it. The color uh, of uh, the Squid Games jersey is like greenish. So you can see that it's more, uh, it's, it's kind of like a greenish here, okay? So we can keep the same kind of green uh, if it is e easier to find this sort of a green or uh, you can choose a any shade of the green that s matches with this. Okay, so here we have the color option. I can change the color here and choose the green that we are looking for towards the torque something like here okay a little lighter i think that's it now there are some side bands here which should be white color so i will take the same and copy it rename it to uh you can say stripes And the, the color, the stripes should be uh, white. Okay, but not purely white. A little bit grayish. So it shows like some uh, like kind of a effect to it. Otherwise, it will look purely white. Now I will select these two uh, stripes and apply this. Okay. Uh, I think it's better to keep it white. 
Okay. And let's see the opacity here, what happens. Okay, because the reason uh, the texture here is too strong. So another thing I can do is the roughness. If I increase the roughness or decrease the roughness, uh, nothing changes. Okay, so let's do one thing. Let's remove this texture from it and keep it as it is. Okay, and then that's it. Okay, so I will just save it. And now let's hide this for now. Shift Q and unhide the t-shirt. Now let's see how the t-shirt looks like. So as we can see here, the t-shirt is purely white and the collar is more like a greenish and the number written on it. So let's do that. So first of all, I will select all of it and apply the same trouser and jacket stripes to it. However, this material is made out of knit jersey, which is basically uh, for, you can say, uh, like a track suit. So what I will do here is that I will select this and copy it. I will right click, rename it to T-shirt. white part and this should be knit i think point jersey okay point jersey or piku jersey but uh, i will keep it uh, point or i think knit teddy looks good uh will look good or i think knit teddy is basically uh will be too you can say uh, strong for it. So what I will do here is let's see if we have here cotton. And in the cotton, what do we have here? So I think we'll choose the knit cotton jersey. Same. Same uh, what we have it. So only uh, I will rename it to uh, t-shirt white part. Okay, and then, or because if it is same as this one, so no need to, to have this. Okay. Now, basically this, I, I will select this one. Okay. Uh, apply on the whole thing. But then I will take the collar, apply the trouser and jacket one on the collar, and the numbers the number okay and i will keep the number a little far away from it and simulate okay so that's fine okay so that's fine so I have turned on the offset simulation after that. Looks good. Now what we need to do here is that once you are done with this, you will select the whole t-shirt, hide it. And now we will go back to our jacket, shift Q, unhide it. So this will use the same uh, material here. And let's see how the jacket is. So everything is green except for the stripe on the shoulder and the number basically uh we can have a sort of a uh what you call that um, texture uh, map so that texture map we will apply uh on this patch so for now i will take everything except for these two and apply this one. Oops. I was supposed to click that button, uh, like the assign button. 
otherwise what will happen it deselects everything if you click on the object so just you have to press the assign button that's all okay and then i will take this and this and assign this to it now one more thing we have to do is take the zipper okay and change the color of the zipper to black okay and once you do that here is your color change the color to black that now one thing we need to do at this stage is to apply that patch over uh, on this name tag okay so what i will do at this stage is i will select uh, any one of this like suppose this one add it okay oh sorry copy it and then i will add a texture over it okay so to add a texture over it what you can do is that you can first of all choose a material like a texture material here okay and choose what you want and apply it here but this will make it uh you can uh like a uh sort of a uh transparent material at at the back so to avoid that the whole thing need to be a flat map so i will apply a different one now so I will go back to the texture okay, and choose the one with the background. Now, once we have this, you can simply to resize it, to readjust it, you can go to the edit texture and you can move around these uh, with this, these option. And this is the horizontal scale diagonal scale like uh horizontal and like horizontal scaling vertical scaling and horizontal vertically is uh it will scale it uniformly so i will scale it horizontally because it looks quite stretched out okay and then i can move it okay and scale it a little bit from the all sides Keep it in this form. Okay, and the color here, it shouldn't be uh, this color, it should be white. Okay. That's it. So we got the whole thing. And now you can select everything from here. Shift Q, so it will show it. And here we got our, uh, let's save this. We got our Squid Games track suit uh, ready. Now uh, to adjust its uh, UVs, uh, more like settings. So what we need to do the same thing. We can go back to our three, view, uh, three views. Okay. And then change this view to UV editor. But it's all mixed up. You can see that it's very, it will be very hard for me to arrange it because there are a lot of pieces. So what you can do, just right click in an empty window. And here in the 2D window, you can see it's all nicely uh, arranged. So I will just press reset UV to 2D arrangement. And same arrangement, it will uh, apply it. And there are islands here. If you, uh, if you wanted to work on uh, UDIMS, just put them the islands you want, like as many islands you want. Okay. Arrange nicely. And also make sure you are not wasting space. Otherwise, uh, the, the file size will be huge. Okay. 
So uh, let me arrange it and then uh, I will come back. Okay, so this is how I have arranged it. It can be arranged in a much more nicer way, but because of time constraints, I have just arranged it in this form. So I hope uh, this is quite clear for you all. Now, once you are done with your uh, like, uh, like textures and everything, you export your model. So in the next class, we will learn how we can ex export the model. Uh, sorry, not in the next class. I think next class is about the animation. So after animation, we'll learn how we can export it to any other external application. So guys, if you have liked this video and if you have enjoyed it, you find it useful. So click the like button. And if you guys like my videos and have not subscribed to my channel yet, so please do it and hit the bell icon. To support my channel, please watch my videos online and do not download them otherwise i won't get any benefit out of it which will demotivate me to make further videos so please champion my channel and like my videos if you find them useful so take care guys stay safe stay healthy and uh, keep learning on cu interactive your own training institute if you're enjoying this series and want to binge watch the whole course without waiting for next lesson then join my Z Interactive Early Bird membership plan. Once you are an active member, you will be able to binge watch all the courses without waiting for lessons to get published. Moreover, you can support my channel by joining Z Interactive Friends membership plan. You will get a lot of perks with that also.